is 10,584 divisible by 8? To know the answer, we divide 10,584 by 8. If we get the remainder as 0, we know that 10,584 will be divisible by 8. And if it is non-zero, then it is not divisible by 8. 8 multiplied by 1 is 8. We subtract 8 from 10 to get 2. Then we get the next digit down, 5. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. We subtract to get a 1 here. We get 8 down. Too boring. We are taking too long to find out if this number is divisible by 8. There is a way in which we could have answered this question in 5 seconds. Yes, don't be surprised. In this video, we will look at a few divisibility rules. These rules will help us know if a big number is divisible by another number. And yes, within 5 seconds. Before we move on to the shortcuts, we need to know something about the number 0. Any number multiplied by 0 results in a 0. Transposing any number to the other side, we can say that 0 divided by any number will result in a 0. What does this tell us? It tells us that the number 0 is divisible by any non-zero number. Now let's move on to a few divisibility rules. First, let's look at divisibility by 2. How can you tell if a number is divisible by 2 without performing any division? Here's the simple rule. Well, a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit, that is the units digit of that number, is divisible by 2. What does that mean? Let's look at a couple of examples to see how easy it is to find out if the number is divisible by 2. Here's your first number. 982,356. Is this number divisible by 2? To answer this quickly, we just need to look at the last digit. The last digit is 6 and since 6 is divisible by 2, the entire number is divisible by 2. 982,356 is divisible by 2. Here's the second number. 10,987,659 Is this number divisible by 2? Pause the video and try it out. Is this number divisible by 2? The units digit of this number is 9. Is 9 divisible by 2? No, and that is why this number is also not divisible by 2. That's how simple it gets with divisibility rules. Imagine how much time it would have taken you to manually divide these two numbers by 2 and see if the remainders are 0 or not. Now let's move on to the second rule. Divisibility by 4. How can we quickly tell if a number is divisible by 4? It is pretty similar to the divisibility test of 2. A number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4. In this case, it is the last two digits. In the case of divisibility test of 2, we just had to look at the last digit. So is 1,987,632 divisible by 4? As it's divisibility by 4, we need to look at the last two digits. The number formed by the last two digits is 32. Is 32 divisible by 4? Yes, so this big number is also divisible by 4. Here's the next one. Is 97,432,100 divisible by 4? What are the last two digits here? 0 and 0. The number formed by the last two digits is 0. And we learnt that 0 is divisible by any number. Hence this number is also divisible by 4. And now we come to the last divisibility rule of this session. Divisibility by 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the numbers formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8. Yes, numbers formed by the last three digits. Look at the number 16,998,048. Is it divisible by 8? The last three digits are 0, 4, 8. The number formed by the last three digits is 48. 
and 48 is divisible by 8. So this huge number will also be divisible by 8. Weren't the rules simple? For a number to be exactly divisible by 2, its last digit should be divisible by 2. To be exactly divisible by 4, the number formed by the last two digits should be divisible by 4. And to be exactly divisible by 8, the number formed by the last three digits should be divisible by 8. We will cover a few more divisibility rules in the next session.